some of the big pieces that I've got right here in front of me, I've got the Grateful Dead box set. It is a four LP set. It's live from 1977 at the Capitol Theater in New Jersey. It's limited to 7,700 copies. It is a beautiful box set. It's got a, you know, the typical uh, Grateful Dead skull and roses on it, but it also has this like a, a boat. It's got a terrapin head on the coming out of the front of the boat. It's got a, you know, a bunch of turtles just kind of Two of them are playing a guitar, a couple of them are climbing up the, the mast of the boat, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful box set. Heavy, it's 180 gram vinyl, so it'll be a very good quality record to listen to. Kind of a throwback right behind it I've got is a 12-inch single of Mo Money, Mo Problems from Notorious B.I.G. featuring Puff Daddy and Mace. And anyone that was coming of age in the adolescence of the 90s will absolutely remember this. It is on Money Green Vinyl. And it's backed with a couple of different versions of Mo Money, My Problems, but it's also got the track from the album also, <laughs> Effing You Tonight, uh, featuring R. Kelly. So for the rap heads out there, it'll be a, a nice little throwback. Sunvolt, live at the bottom line from 1996 from their Trace tour. So we're right at about 20 years ago from this tour. They just did a 20th anniversary reissue of Trace. And Trace is kind of, for the Sunvolt fans out there, Trace is one of their most lauded over albums, so it's definitely definitely going to be a, a nice little collector's piece as well. One of the funkier things that I've got right here in front of me right now is the alternate tape from Fleetwood Mac's Tusk. And it's a funky cover. It's got the entire band, what seems to be laying on the ceiling of a room, but obviously it's just a, a photo trick, but it's a funky little cover. So you get to hear the, the alternate version, some live versions, but mostly just alternate takes from that Tusk album. Got a Madonna 12-inch single, Like a Virgin, and other big hits. It's got a real cool cover to it. It's got the, the iconic from her material girl face, but it's got a Japanese obi, which is the little strip that the Japanese record labels typically put on all of their releases. So it looks very import-like, but it's not. If I remember correctly, it's pressed on pink vinyl, so that'll be a cool little piece to throw back to the 80s on. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers are releasing a Kiss My Amps live volume two this is live recordings from their 2013 tour it's got a lot of you know deep cuts on it you know i've got a lot of people i know that are going to be very very excited about this a lot of tom petty fans in this part of the country so it's a very cool piece fish is going to be one of the highly sought after pieces this year again it's fish's album hoist it will be released on 180 gram vinyl it's going to be a double lp it's a splatter color vinyl. It's got a gold foil stamp number on the back, so it is definitely a limited edition piece. If I remember correctly, it's going to be on kind of an orangish, peachish color vinyl, similar to the album cover. So that'll be a very, very sought after and beautiful piece. Johnny Cash, All Aboard the Blue Train. It's going to be pressed on blue vinyl. I've seen a picture of this record already. It is a beautiful, beautiful, kind of a translucent blue. So for all the Johnny Cash fans out there, it'll definitely be a very cool little piece to have. One of the major labels, Warner Brothers, they have typically done the seven inch pieces where it will be an original artist doing their original song on the A-side, but then the B-side will be a cover by another notable band doing the same song, either a live version or just the studio cover. Those are called just the side-by-side -side pieces, and there's several of those again this year. Talking Heads, This Must Be The Place. And then Echo Smith, who is a relatively new kind of poppy alternative band doing the same song. So that's a neat little piece. My favorite from the Side by Side series is going to be Warren Zavon's Werewolves of London. And then the Flaming Groovies are doing the cover to it. What's special about this piece is it's a picture disc. So you get on one side, you get a red and yellow picture it's got a werewolf and then you know tower of london and then on the back it's got kind of a bluish very dark looking scene to it but it's a very very neat little piece so the side by side series you know they really really stepped up again this year the Deftones. So the Deftones, it's probably actually been about 10 years ago, did the B-sides and rarities, but it was a deluxe CD package, and they have finally, finally pressed that on vinyl. So that's going to be a good piece. The Deftones carry a lot of weight in this part of the country as well, so that'll be a very highly sought-after piece. Sublime, Jaw Won't Pay the Bills. 
So it's a 25th anniversary reissue. It's the first time this has ever been on vinyl. So that'll be a very highly sought-after piece. It's Sublime, back in their touring days, actually stopped in Tuscaloosa and played at the Chucker. So there's a little bit of a following for Sublime here in town. It's a couple of David Bowie pieces. David Bowie, 1966. The Pie, P-Y-E, singles on LP. But then there's also The Man Who Sold the World, his iconic album. They're doing a picture disc of it, and they are actually using the cover from the German release as the cover of the picture disc. So it's a very, very cool piece. It'll be, obviously, with his recent passing, will be a highly sought-after piece as well. Fat Possum is a record label over in Mississippi, and they are putting out a, a compilation piece called Sunday Nights, The Songs of Junior Kimbrough. And it's got everybody from Iggy and the Stooges to the Black Keys, Pete Yorn, Mark Lanigan, the Ponies. So they're all doing Junior Kimbrough songs, so that'll be a very cool piece. The last really cool release will be uh, this box set from Credence Clearwater. It's their entire, I guess, output from 1969. They did three albums that year. They did Bayou Country, Green River, and Willie and the Poor Boys. And it also contains three EPs, Proud Mary, Bad Moon Rising, and then Fortunate Son. It's a very, very nice box set. It's a pretty heavy-duty box. It's got a kind of metal rivet system on the corners of it all. It's a very, very nice little set, so any Credence fans out there will definitely have this on their list. <laughs> 